Just checking, there are a few gentlemen. Um, the really and truly, it's always a pleasure to come along here. I, we were just discussing this a little earlier. I'm always in awe, in fact, of the volunteering section that we have in this country. Um, I sometimes think, and it's not being political, but I sometimes think it's a fact of life, that some governments, of whatever persuasion, actually build in a shortfall uh, so that they know that volunteers will fill that gap and put the cement in the wall that are in danger of falling down. We're always angry, told in the newspapers and the media that this country is in Division 4 of this kind of uh, provision, in Division 3 of that, compared to other countries in Europe. But I do feel that in volunteering, um, Britain, Wales included, must be in the Premier Division because some countries, you see, don't have a concept of volunteering at all. It's built into their tax system, so there are no volunteers, certainly not the widespread system of volunteering that we have in this country. So it's always really inspiring to see a room full of people like yourselves. They do say, you see, that the world can be divided into two kinds of people. Those who do, and those who get the credit for it. <laughs> credit where it's due tonight, you will be recognized with badges and so on. I would also say that the world can be divided into three kinds of people. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happening, and those who really ask, what's happening there? <laughs> you need the catalysts. There are dreamers and there are doers. Dreamers are lovely and they're fine and they look at the bigger picture. But without the doers to put the rivets in those dreams, those dreams won't come alive at all. You need movers and shakers. Without those, nothing will move at all. And you need to go the extra mile. If you go the extra mile, you'll find it's never crowded. You can be very effective there. You can be yourself. And because you are yourself, you have something unique to contribute. Every one of you in this room tonight is quite, quite unique. When they finished making you, they broke the mold, and then they went on, on the conveyor belt to make somebody else. Without you, then this gathering would be that much worse off because you are quite unique, you are a one-off, and you have a contribution to make that is unlike anybody else. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. And if you go that extra mile, you can be effective. Somebody once told me that Edison invented the light bulb, but it was the man who invented the meter who made all the money. 